Some brands offer you low finance, or cashback, or servicing. Renault don't do ors. We do ands. The Renault Kajar, with 1.91% APR and €1,000 cashback and three years servicing, saving you thousands. Renault, the brand with the ands. Visit your local Renault dealer. Finance is made under a higher purchase agreement. Terms and conditions apply. Deposit required. Subject to lending criteria. See Renault.ie. Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Presented by the Idiot Radio Network. Operating a weekly look into the world of professional wrestling. With guest interviews, news, results, and much more. Now here's your host, Stephon Devereaux. And we are back. Stephon Devereaux, the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Here on Angry Cast 24-7 Radio. Yeah, we doing it big, you know what I'm saying? We doing it big. I want to send a shout out to all the listeners across the world who's been showing me love and showing Angry Kids 24-7 Radio so much love. I want to thank you so much right now uh, for being with us today. And we got a lot to talk about. But before we get into the things we got to talk about, I want to also send a shout out to my team who's been putting together some deals for me. If you go to the description, go in the, in the description for the show, and you can uh, get the new video by yours truly, Stephon Devereaux. It's called The Storm. Now, we were just testing some things out, but they told me to drop it, so I released it. You tell me what you think. You, know, you can leave a comment uh, there in the video and so forth, and tell me what you think. But, yes. Yes, we doing big things here, Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Don't forget, listen to the Stuff on Devereaux show Monday through Friday. Yes, 9 to 11, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> PM, check it out, Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. But let's get into some professional wrestling, what we love to do, my little guilty pleasure. Now, if you look inside, if you look at the, the topics for today's show, it was interesting because... My biggest issue, okay, uh, with professional wrestling right now is the constant bitching and complaining from the fans. I mean, these fans are constantly bitching and complaining. Now, see, maybe wrestling is different. You know, yes, it is different. Maybe it's, 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 it's it doesn't appeal to as many people as it used to. I get that. But let's be real. Let's be real. The WWE is now the king of professional wrestling. You're not going to change their minds, wrestling fans. We know that. You're not going to go anywhere. You're going to continue to watch them. We know that. So what does the WWE, what do they do? What do they do? They continue to do what they do best. And that's piss you fans off for some reason. That's what they're doing best. That's the best. Guys, this is the best the WWE has been in years, in my opinion, because they're pissing the fans off. Now, recently, this is why, why, the reason why I'm bringing all this up, is recently was on some of them, you know, Facebook groups, you know, professional wrestling, and I'm sitting there watching, you know, reading these comments, and the one thing that was brought up was the lack of baby faces in the WWE. The lack of baby faces in the WWE. To me, I'm not going to bitch about that too much. I can bitch about a lot of other things, but I'm not going to bitch about that. And this is why I'm bringing this up. It's because usually in professional wrestling, when an organization, promotion, whatever you want to call it, company, when they're pushing Oh, like just one side, and they're just bringing so much heat to this one side. Usually the the hills, obviously, because the hills get heat. But usually, but when they're bringing, when they're pushing all that heat to the hills, and you can see one hill after another, after another, after another, after another, and you're sitting back like, damn, is there a good guy left? Yes, there, there are a few ba- baby faces left. But they're not getting the airtime that the Hills are getting right now. Why is that? 
because they're they're setting up the next superstar babyface. Yes. Well, you don't believe me? Okay, let's look at their track record. I can sit here all day and we could talk about this, but the WWE, the WWE usually doesn't show its hand. I mean, even though you can see it coming a mile away, but for you know they try to you know hit you with a swerve, and blah blah blah, just to make you th- so you can think so they can make you think, you know that you know what's coming, but it, it doesn't come. Well, right now I see something coming. I see these guys putting over. Every heel in the company right now, every heel in the company has major heat right now. Even the heels that you really, really don't like. Baron Corbin, we'll get to him later. But they're using so much, of putting so much energy behind these heels. And I'm enjoying it. Not because I'm in a heel in real life. I know. I'm enjoying this because I know that the next major baby face is coming. Who's that next major baby face? Who is the next major baby face in the WWE? Yeah. I know. He's sitting over there in SmackDown right now. He's getting a lukewarm baby face push because they didn't heat it up yet. The Miz. The Miz. The Miz is going to be the next big babyface superstar in the WWE in 2019. I can see the Miz winning Royal Rumble. I can honestly see Miz challenging Daniel Bryan or Brock Lesnar. It will be better with Brock Lesnar, though. Walk with me here, people. The Miz is not getting, you're not talking about him. And that's working for the WWE right now. While you are being distracted by the BS of there's too many hills. They're building up their next big baby face right under your nose. That's why the WWE is so good at what they do. You're not going to be pissed off when this is all said and done. They're pissing you off right now because they do that best. But this is going to this is going to work. This is going to work. They just got to figure out a way to get them to Raw. And the Royal Rumble is the best way to do that. You would think that, see, what makes a hero, a hero takes on the biggest challenges because he has no fear and he wants to overcome that. You're not going to tell me. So please tell me. I'm waiting for someone to call me right now and tell me this is not going to work. The Miz wins the Royal Rumble, stands in the middle of the ring on Tuesday night, and he says, you know what? Daniel Brown, with all due respect, I res- I don't want your title. I feel I can beat Brock Lesnar. And when he goes to WrestleMania on a five-star match, and we're not even going to talk about the promos between he and Paul Heyman, which would be so beautiful to watch. But let's just go directly to the match. The Miz can carry Brock Lesnar to a five-star match. Brock can carry the Miz to a five-star match. That can happen. That can happen. That's why I am not upset with the lack of baby faces or of attention that the baby faces are getting right now because they're building the next big baby face right under your nose and I believe that's the miss 
especially if AJ Styles decides to walk away, which I, <laughs> we'll get into that later. We're going to take a break here on the Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Don't forget, I got to uh, bring up, <laughs> is Baron Corbin, the, is he the, the most boring wrestler ever? We're going to talk about that next here on the Devereux Committee. Here on Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. We'll be right back after this break. You're listening to Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. How to text a guy to keep him interested. Hmm, it's a question many women ask daily. Well, Amy North believes she has found the answer with How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. It's a new course that she has put together, and it's helping ladies all across the world. You can go to How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. Weebly.com for more information. Amy says she has the answer, so find out there at How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. Weebly.com. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. I thought I was too far gone. I wasn't. Join the voices for recovery. The world is a beautiful place again. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. You're listening to Angle Kids 24-7 Radio. Angle Kids. We are back. The Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Step on Devereux. Having so much fun today as I do every time I am with my people. Anyway, let's move along. So... We were talking about the lack of baby faces in the WWE uh, right now. Well, the, the lack, I'm saying the, the lack of attention that the baby faces are receiving. So let's talk about a heel. And one of the reasons that these people that were in this message, uh, this Facebook message group, uh, one of the reasons why they were complaining was because they felt that a certain heel was getting too much time on television. And this kind of start, uh, started the whole debate and so forth. And that hill currently is Baron Corbin. They feel he's getting too much time on TV. Baron Corbin, to me, I'm going to say this, because I, I put the question out there, is Baron Corbin the most boring wrestler ever? I put the question out there, and I, the response I got from the message group was, yeah, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you my opinion. The guy pretty much there's nothing. There's no reason to watch him. Okay, I'm not even going. To, I'm, I, I can't sugarcoat it. There's no reason to watch him. What makes me want to watch Baron Corbin? What makes you want to watch Baron Corbin? The WWE, for some reason, they have figured out a way to destroy their big men. Remember, remember, I can be goddamn it. This is the WWE, the one company that knew how to push a big guy. Okay, they haven't been able to push a big guy in years. Who was the last big guy that you know, that you've known, that have been in the WWE in the past 15 years? And I'm trying to think, when did Big Show come over? Anyway. And that was longer. That was longer. It's almost 20 years since the Big Show's been there. And let's be real. When was the last big guy that they was able to get over? I'm talking large. They've had a few. Kali. And I can go on. Even recently, Strowman, even I think he's just, anyway. But when was the last time they had a big guy that they was actually getting over? Baron Corbin now falls into that lane, and that's sad. Because I, I don't think I would be too worried about it if Baron Corbin 
or excuse me, not Baron Corbin. Um, goodness gracious, he like pretty much slipped my mind. But I wouldn't be too worried if their track record <laughs> wasn't looking too good. It's not looking too good for the WWE. No. Does this go back to, I mean, is this the reason why Baron Corbin is a boring wrestler? Because they don't know how to work with big men anymore? Or get them over? No, I just think he's boring. The look is boring. What's he there for? What's his accomplishments? I mean, what is his goals? What does he want to do? What's his plan? He wants to be a damn near seven-foot GM of, of Raw? They think that's the best way to use this man? For what? His promos are trash. Yes. And then, to make matters worse, they're like destroying Drew McIntyre. What is this, 3MB Part 2? Part 3? Well, I mean, what is it? Think. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. They can't even get this guy over. Don't get me wrong, Bobby Lashley. He's not uh, the greatest, but he can work. Microphone's not the greatest, but they gave him Leo Rush. Brilliant move, by the way. But Baron Corbin? Ooh, whoop de doo He wants to be the GM of Raw. I thought she was a wrestler, buddy. See, if I looked at it from a, a fan's perspective, so as a commentator, if I'm looking at it from a fan's perspective, that's exactly what I'm saying. What I just said to you. <laughs> that's how I'm describing this guy. From the commentator, the WWE, it just misses the boat on Big Man. They just missed the boat on big men. Every time they get one of these big guys, they're horrible. They end up horrible. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I think there's a lot of good things that they do. But they're booking the big men? It's horrible. Horrible. And see, that's when a fan comes out of me sometimes when I get really passionate about these things. But it's been horrible. It's sad. That used to be their money. And I, I said it then. When they had Big Show taking all of them bumps, I said they can never market a big man again. They can never mar- market a monster again. Never. A monster will never get over in the WWE again. That's why Kane was the last one. Kane was 20 years ago. It's been 20 years since Kane. A big monster heel that they developed into a superstar. Kane's the last one? How is that possible? A giant that they sort of developed, and that was the big show. They Actually, they changed this character from what it was in WCW. They just gave him a personality. And it turned out that personality caused him to get beat up a lot. He got knocked out by Floyd Mayweather on, at a WrestleMania. Think about that one. They have no clue on how to market Big Men anymore. But there's a place that could. And there's a place that I believe will. And we're going to talk about that place. But is Baron Corbin, before I go, is Baron Corbin the most boring wrestler ever? Eh, No, he's just really boring right now. He's really boring right now. And the boring Corbin chants that you are hearing is really funny, but they're going to continue and they're going to get louder. Even if he becomes a baby face, which I don't think will happen, but they're still going to yell boring Corbin. (laughs) Ah. Man, that was kind of fun. Speaking of something that's not boring, we're going to talk about that next. Oh, yeah, what did I say last week? I'm not going to give you the I told you so song, but I'm just going to say I told you so. Hmm.
We're going to talk about that next here on the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. You're listening to Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. Kids 24-7 How to text a guy to keep him interested? Hmm. The question many women ask daily. Well, Andy North believes she has found the answer with How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. It's a new course that she has put together and it's helping ladies all across the world. You can go to How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. Weebly.com for more information. Andy says she has the answer, so find out there. How to text a guy to keep him interested. Weebly.com. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. I thought I was too far gone. I wasn't. Join the voices for recovery. The world is a beautiful place again. For 24 hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders for you or someone you know, Call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. You're listening to Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Stephon Devereaux. The Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling here on Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. I want to thank you again for joining us. Ooh, man, I want to do it so bad, but I can't, but I'm not because I, I really I, I care about my fans. I really do. Okay, screw it. I'm going to do it. I told you so. Shout out to my man Harvey. <laughs> I told you so. So. Why am I singing? Because last week I sat here on a show and I said that there's one place that CM Punk would go. I said one place. And that place was All Elite Wrestling. You know, the new organization that's being developed right now with my good buddies, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks. Really good guys. Love you guys. But what did I say? What did I say? And reports are now being huh, leaked. Oh, no, excuse me, not reports. <laughs> but, um, I'm so excited right now. But it's being reported that CM Punk is interested in all elite wrestling. CM Punk is ready to sit down and talk some business with a wrestling promotion. What did I say last week? Should I go back and get the clip? But I won't do that. No, 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 I won't do that. Because I'm not that mean. I'm going to talk about how important this is for this company right now. And they haven't even had a show yet, besides what they did at All In. But anyway, let's be real. CM Punk starts the conversations. You know how many other guys who are in the business right now who are looking for another place to go Besides the WWE, because they don't want to go there, but the Ring of Honor in Japan, the list, we have a few, TNA, okay, Evolve. Anyway, they see CM Punk going to All Elite Wrestling. Besides what they see, what they, what they saw back uh, a couple of months ago with the pay-per-view, they've seen success. Now they're hearing rumors of CM Punk walking there, walking into that building, walking into that promotion. Oh, yeah. Now their eyes are lighting up. They're, you know, the light bulbs are going off because they already knew there was money. But now with the, the star 
The star power of CEO Punk brains? Come on. Walk with me, people. Speaking of, uh, remember the segment we were talking about a couple segments ago about baby faces, lack of baby faces. Be on the lookout for my man, Elias. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's ready. The kid is ready. Yes, I'm walking with you, Elias. The kid is ready to be a top baby face in the company. But anyway, back to Punk. So CM Punk goes to All Elite. What does this do for All Elite? Like I said, what does this do for these guys? Now it gives them a bona fide star. Superstar. Don't get me wrong. Cody and the Bucks, superstars. But this dude right here, he's the the superstar that the fans have been begging to come back for the past four years now. Almost five years. Think about that. He's been gone for almost five years. Wrestling fans are salivating. They can say, oh, we don't care about Punk right now, but as soon as he say I'm back, yeah, they're going to care then. So, what did I say last week? Nick Aldis. CM Punk. I'm telling you, Nick Aldis is gone. NWA, I love you guys to death. and You guys are going to be working together, I know that. Get this thing in order right now, because this could be even bigger with the NWA on top of this thing. I'm telling you. The more fans who have not watched wrestling since WCW left, they're still around. They're still here. Oh, yeah, they are. I talked to them. They're still here. You give them something that they can appreciate. Something with the roots of what they grew up watching. I guarantee you, it's only going to be bigger. We had to see him punk, to Nick Aldis, and what did I say last week? I said possibly AJ Styles, because I mean, or a week later, I don't, I didn't hear anything about his contract being signed. Did you? Okay, just saying. And we can keep adding to this roster. Guys who want to come into a company, a young company, something that they feel is theirs. It's more like a, it's, it's going to feel like a wrestling union. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's going to feel like a wrestling union. And these guys are going to show Vince McMahon how it should be done. In my opinion. It's not going to be the next ECW. It's not going to be the next TNA. It's not going to be the next Ring of Honor. It's not going to be the next WWE. It won't be the next WCW. It's going to be all elite wrestling. (laughs) I like the way that sounds, too. Because we need something. We need something. New in this business. We need a new spark because we're not going to get it from the from WWE. Ring of Honor, we're not going to get it from the, the Ring of Honor. I'm telling you. NWA has figured it out. And these guys over here, they are figuring it out as well. And these guys come together, which I believe is going to happen. Cool wrestling fans like myself. Man, it's going to be like Christmas. It's going to be like Christmas. I want to thank you guys for joining me this week. Before we go, I just want to, uh, I want to send a shout out to, uh, man, Van Harper, man. Van Harper, the character of Van Harper. As you know, uh, Ken Berry, that, uh, he played Van Harper all those years. Uh, for Mama's family, I just want to send you know my condolences to the family of Mr. Barry, and I just want to say, man, yeah, he was one of the, he was probably the I'll give him the top ten baby faces on television. So thank you for joining me this week here on the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling here on Angry Kids Twenty Four Seven Radio. You're listening to Angry Kids Twenty Four Seven.
Kids 24 7 Radio. How to text a guy to keep him interested? Hmm, it's a question.